Hello, I'm Brad Davis. Planned Parenthood wants a court to call, halt portions of a new Indiana abortion law. It's the fifth lawsuit over abortion legislation in seven years. Planned Parenthood is challenging Senate Bill 404, which would allow a judge to tell a girl's parents about her abortion request after the judge decides whether to grant the consent. A young woman who, for many reasons, uh, does not want and their parents should not receive notice is now being told your parents might get notice. That's going to deter those young women from getting abortions. That's an undue burden that's unconstitutional. The provisions in the law Planned Parenthood is challenging don't go into effect until July 1st. Indiana's Commission to Combat Drug Abuse laid out a strategic plan to combat the state's opioid epidemic. Saving lives and expanding access to treatment are two of the highest priorities within the plan. In April, Indiana received nearly $11 million in funding to combat the opioid epidemic. The grants will go towards efforts such as prescription monitoring, anti-stigma campaigns, and peer support initiatives. A new solar installation at NSA Crane will help power the base and the surrounding area. Duke Energy is leasing 145 acres for the solar farm. It includes 76,000 panels and will generate about 17 megawatts of power, or enough to power about 1,700 homes. The solar farm is now one of the largest in Indiana second only to the one at the Indianapolis International Airport. And tonight we'll be in the slight, we'll be in the low 60s with a slight chance of rain and looking ahead to the five day forecast. We'll have some rain over the weekend. On Monday we'll have high of 72, low of 53, mostly sunny. And then on Tuesday rain will be back again, 50% chance of showers with a high of 71.